All right, please state your name and occupation for the folks at home. Uh, my name is Paul Poundstone, and uh, I'm the... You're the robot tonight. I'm you're going voice. to be the personality and voice of the robot this evening. That's what you're going to do. I'm the voice of Jeff the robot. Jeff the robot, yeah. And what you do? personality. Yes, what you do is we, you go backstage to a pod where you'll be encased in a pod and your, your mind and body will be taken from you, much in the same way as you, you know, when you take drugs, and, which, of course, you clearly have a problem with. And then... And then... And then your personality will be put inside the robot for the, you know, the length of the show this evening for hilarious antics to ensue. This is, this is not what they told me. They didn't tell me anything about a pod or uh, any kind of uh, my... So what happens again? No. The, well, who are they, Paula? Uh, the, I think I spoke with the producer. Someone called, someone called my house and said that they worked for you. Oh, yes, the Nigerian prince. Yes. <laughs> and I sent money right away. you got to send the money right away. And that's to you folks at home. If you receive an email asking, you know, for money from a Nigerian prince, get that money off there. <laughs> I, I'm just winding them up. You, they shouldn't do that. Yeah, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I almost, did the, I, I almost did the friends stuck in the London airport thing. Did you get that one? No. Yeah, there's one where somebody that knows you supposedly writes and says they're stuck in the London airport and they need money and they have like a good reason. And I almost did it. And it turned out it wasn't real. Is this the kind of... <laughs> is this the kind of hilarious... Crikey. You're going to be doing in the robot tonight? I, I was just... I was just... Telling you a true story. Well, that's great if it's we were no doing a I a documentary. <laughs> it's no Chicken Margaret. Not everyone's going to be don't, able to do don't, Chicken don't Margaret. Don't mention Chicken Margaret. I haven't talked about that yet. <laughs> this is, I do a linear show. I yeah, linear well. Show. Well, that's not how we do things here. I do a beginning, a middle, and an end. <laughs> Good night, everybody! Sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Sit down, relax. You've done your job for the evening. That's it. You've convinced me to go through this charade one more time. The CBS fat cats will be happy. <laughs> That's right. CBS. I don't. It's just an expression. It's not. It is. CBS is run by overweight cats. <laughs> I can wash myself by licking. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. Not, not such a great day for the Occupy Wall Street protesters. The New York City's uh, mayor, Mayor Bloomberg, he had them re removed from the park. He said their encampment had become unsanitary. And I'm like, right, yes, because if there's one thing they won't stand for in New York, it's the street smelling of pee. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
CBS fat cats. <laughs> Get these bees smelling people out of here. More CSI. <laughs> Big Kardashian news. <laughs> the Kardashians, right? They're America's furriest reality stars. And today, <laughs> today the Kardashian sisters released their first book. It, they really did. It's a book. It was a team effort. Courtney wrote the beginning. Chloe provided the big, thick middle part. And uh, <laughs> Kim provided the perfect ending. <laughs> By that, I mean spectacular ass. <laughs> Just in case there's any... Anyway, look, it's a great day if you like to recycle. Today's uh, America's Recycles Day. America's... Re what do you call it? America Recycles Day. Anyway, I'm thinking, do we really need this? We've already got Earth Day. <laughs> so we have to think about the environment on two days? <laughs> well, we would consolidate the two of them, just down to one. And while we're at it, get rid of Arbor Day. Nobody gives a crap about Arbor Day. <laughs> Go on, tell me when it is. You can't. Exactly. Oh, go, go on, look it up in your computer. <laughs> Any, anyone who watches this show knows we have a very strict recycling policy. Have you got that picture of Paul McCartney? There it is. Uh... of recycling as uh, a recent thing, but it's actually been around for hundreds of years. Historians say the first example of recycling, uh, the pilgrims realised they could recycle corn cobs and use them as dildos. <laughs> That's not true. But if it was true, wouldn't it be awesome? When, you know, when you, when you think about recycling, you should always think about the three R's. Uh, renew, reuse, renew, regis. <laughs> And these days we have uh, separate coloured bins for the different kinds of recyclable stuff. Here in LA, the green bin is for garden waste, blue bin for uh, paper products, pink bin for old breast implants. <laughs> you can! You know you can recycle used boobies. You can do it! You can! I'm not just... You can't! What they do is they melt down the recycled boobies and they make, turn them into lip injections and butt implants. And the circle of life continues. It's Hakuna Matata, my friend! So, so all the recycling makes me think, well, where does my trash go? So one day, this is true, one day I followed uh, the garb my garbage truck and sure enough it took all the trash from LA down the street to a massive disgusting landfill called LA. <laughs> it's a dump here. <laughs> it is. Unless you're a fat cat. <laughs> No, everyone should do their part when it comes to recycling. For instance, when I go food shopping, I don't use uh, plastic shopping bags. I just stick what I want down my pants. And I walk out the store. <laughs> well, like, Did I ever tell you the story about Chicken Margaret? This is a true story. Chicken Margaret is a real person in Glasgow from back in the day when I... I'm not originally from L.A. And when I... When I but in Glasgow, there was this lady I knew from uh, called Chicken Margaret, and she got her name because she used to steal frozen chickens from the supermarket. She would go in with a big dress on, and she'd get a frozen chicken, and she'd stick it up her dress and pretend to be pregnant. <laughs> wait, would-be criminals, wait. If you're thinking, that's a good idea, no, it's not. Because what happened was, once chicken... This is a true story. We'll get to your show in a minute. So... She puts the cold chicken, the frozen chicken, up her dress, but there's a big line waiting to get out the store, and the frozen chicken brought down her body temperature so much that she fainted. And then the checkout lady's like, oh, the pregnant lady's having her baby! And, then, and there's a doctor in the store, he's like, oh, I've got to die, I'm a doctor! And he came over and he's like, oh! That day she had the most delicious baby ever!
<laughs> yeah, ticket, Margaret. What am I talking about? Oh, recycling. Yeah, no. Uh... Oh, yeah, marine biologists say we should always recycle the plastic bottles. So if they wash into the oceans, the dolphins will, uh, you know, because they, they'll swallow them if they wash in there. And I'm thinking, well, it wouldn't it be easier just to stop recycling and train the dolphins not to swallow bottles? They're very clever. <laughs> Stupid, put up a sign, don't eat this. I consider myself very eco-conscious. I never use uh, styrofoam containers, no exceptions, none, ever. When I go uh, to get soup, I just go, I carry it in my hands like this. <laughs> Doctors say the nerve damage is irreparable, but it's delicious. Makes my hands smell like ham. Did I say my hams smell like ham? My hams do smell like ham, that's weird. Sometimes I go for hams, they smell like ham. And people say, your hams smell like ham. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I think I threw myself off telling you the chicken Margaret story, but that's a true story. Uh, think on that, CBS fat cats. What do you think of that story, giant bouffon hair Jeff, tonight? That was a very, very moving story, Craig. <laughs> you mean it was a very, very moving story? You were upset by the story of Chicken Margaret? That it reminded me of a time when I was not flush and I shoved some nail clippers up my skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope you know where the hell this is going, because I don't, and I'm not going to help you. What happened, then? It, what was, hap it was in order to steal the nail clippers. I see. No one would look there. <laughs> yeah, nail clipper isn't really a big ticket item. I mean, a frozen chicken can run a few bucks. But I said clipper... I was not flush, all Jeff. Right, all right. Look at my nails, for God's sake. Well, look, could... <laughs> Yeah, but, I mean, no one's asking you to go for a manicure. I mean, look, if I was down in my luck, <laughs> like this, for example, the last thing I'd think is, well, oh, I've, I've got no money. Where am I going to get my nails done? You I mean, don't I'd... know the first thing about down on your luck, <laughs> fat cat. <laughs> how dare you? How, how dare you? How dare you? I, uh, while I have you know, I'm not a fat cat. I'm a dancing monkey for the CBS Corporation, just like you. <laughs> now, introduce the commercials. Uh, here comes a commercial that could save our economy. <laughs> Tonight, things are not as they seem. Yes, they are. They're exactly as they seem. <laughs> very good. That's very nice. I like your hair. I think the, your hair choice tonight is very, um, what's that? Uh, stupid. <laughs> You can't see your mohawk. Your beehive's covering your mohawk. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I've had to say that to someone. <laughs> I, I, I went with what I felt tonight. I felt beehivey. There's something about you that makes me feel beehivey. <laughs> Are that, bees that, actually inside your hive? I, do you hear that little buzz, buzz sound? <laughs> I thought I just had too much coffee. No, that's that's the beehive. Uh, you're looking sartorially excellent as well. I don't know what that means. Robots have an excellent vocabulary. Oh, really? Is that why you used excellent twice in the same paragraph there? <laughs> they, also, they also jam. Jam? Jam, as in repeating... You don't want to have jam with all these bees around, you'll get infested. <laughs> no, they jam, as in repeating the same thing over and over because it's jammed, it's a machine, a robot. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know we were talking young people. 
Is that what the young people are saying? Hey, we're going to jam. No. What up? <laughs> Dog. <laughs> cat. The, that cat. Just, no, the phrase is what up? Dog. <laughs> I'll bear it in mind. <laughs> what, what, uh, what time is it? It is time for tweets and emails. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> This is from Ashton. Ashton. <gasps> I wonder if it's Ashton. <laughs> he tweets a lot. He does tweet a lot, and it is an email, which is very close to a tweet. Oh, oh yeah, it's an it's email. Well, he does that too. What? 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 He does that too. He does. He emails and tweets. He knows all the ways to think. <laughs> no. Ashton in Westchester, uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, that's him. That'll be him. <laughs> Dear GP in the ferns, I think my boyfriend. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 Ashton, I think you just made the news. Uh, I think my boyfriend might be cheating on me. I think it's a different Ashton. No, this is this no, is. No, I don't. No, it is. It's a different Ashton. I think my boyfriend might be cheating on me. Is there any way to find out if it's true without invading his privacy? No. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you shouldn't. You ever been cheated on there, Jeff? Uh, never. Never. People are. Tr <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Worth checking, worth finding out, worth knowing that uh, you're really helping. Uh, this is from David in Toronto, Canada. You ever been to Toronto, Canada? Got Have I been there? to Toronto? Can I get a place there? I love to throw beads, go swimming, get naked. <laughs> in Toronto? Really? Yeah, yeah. Love to do that in Toronto. Huh? <laughs> well, that would explain your present condition. You ever been to Toronto? To a, Toronto? Me? I'm never out of the place. I go all the time. I tell you how often I've been to Toronto. I don't even call it Toronto. I pronounce it like locals say Toronto. I call it Toronto. <laughs> hey, we're in Toronto. Do you mean Toronto? No, I don't have time for teas. <laughs> Toronto. They just, run it, they just run it on through like that with no teas? Yeah, they just are Toronto, just like that. That's how they say it. Toronto. Well, in fact, sometimes they don't even say that. They just go, ah. <laughs> Welcome to Canada and the lovely town of... They're busy people. They're busy They're people. They don't have time. They don't have time. Do you know what they say? Toronto is like New York run by the Swiss. <laughs> That's what they say it's like. That's what they say it's like. Well, when they have time. But they don't have time. They, what they just say is... Swiss. That's all they say. Anyway, David and... Oh! Uh, says, Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm, a be be uh, but, uh, but I'm about to begin... Yeah, he didn't say that. Yeah, no. <laughs> they said some of it. That's ridiculous. Well, you know, it was written by someone whose body temperature had been lowered a great deal by a frozen chicken that they had pressed again. <clears throat> I'm about to begin at university and I'm trying to pick up a major. Ha <laughs> ha! Any suggestions? Go to West Point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See what I did? Yeah, see what I, did? I see what you did. I turned it into a joke. Yeah. I, like a real joke. There's two uses of the word major. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's right. I took the other word of the uh, major and I made it a homoerotic reference. Yeah. <laughs> you making some homoerotic reference blow me away. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> <laughs> this is from <laughs> this is from Calvin in Surprise, Arizona. Is it Surprise, Arizona, or Surprise, Arizona? <laughs> Bet you never heard that before. Uh, <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, a friend of mine has convinced me to hire her, but she's turning out to be a terrible employee. Should I fire her or just wait to see if she improves? <laughs> Are you waiting? I'm waiting to see if you improve. Yeah. You know, I put this hair on especially for you. Those kinds of comments. You know, us. Uh, have you ever been to Surprise, Arizona? 
<laughs> well, you want me to say that to you? No. Have you ever been to Surprise Air? I'm just, I'm asking you. Oh, you, you asked me if I've ever been to Surprise Air? Is, sur like, is that like code? Is that like get, a... You know, I couldn't have made it more clear what I was asking. <laughs> I thought it was some kind of, uh, you know, homoerotic double on You ever been to Surprise, Arizona? As in, uh, you know, have you ever seen another man naked? That kind of thing. <laughs> like, you know, when a man takes off his pants and goes, Surprise, Arizona! <laughs> no one has ever taken off their pants and surprised all of Arizona. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Call me, Arizona. <laughs> All right, this is from Abigail in Fargo, North Dakota. You ever been in Fargo, North Dakota? I got a little place I'd... I like to go swimming, bake naked peach. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Love, Dear Love Craig, Fargo, North Dakota. Love that? it. Love it. It's nice. It's a nice place. They, got, yeah. they, they made that film there. What was it called again? <laughs> Fargo? Yeah, it's a <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, my best friend recently moved into my apartment while she looks for a new place to live, but she stopped looking and is getting pretty comfortable. Is there a nice way to get her apartment hunting again? Hmm, yeah, probably uh, ask her to make a, a video with you where you both make out with each other. How many times does that work for you? Every time. <laughs> Every time. Boy, that surprised Arizona. <laughs> all right, we're going to get time for one more. One more and that's it, we're out of here, One all right? more and that's it. One more and that's it, we're it. not. Time's up after all right, this well, one. Well, one more. We don't have time. We don't even have time for this one. No. Nope. So let's do it. All right, this is from Karen in Lake Forest, California. I don't know if you can tell from there, but Karen's a swan. Uh, uh, hey, Craig and Jeff, with Christmas just around the corner, what do you plan on asking Santa for this year? Uh, fingernail clippers. <laughs> Frozen chicken. We'll be right back, everybody. of the 50 states in America and surprise, Arizona. <laughs> see what I did? Yeah, yeah. I see how you used I that. used it, didn't I? You used that I surprise, used Arizona. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, have you ever been to, uh, oh my God, you scared the hell out of me, Arizona? I'm kind of busy. Smaller. <laughs> My, uh, my first guest is in uh, Beginners, which is available on DVD now. Take a look at <laughs> Wait, that's the clip they sent? <laughs> well, he's hardly in the Ooh, la -la. thing. <laughs> Does he know about this? That's what he said? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> he's a big, giant movie star. He should... I want to... What the hell? We could have shown a picture of a... What the hell? By him. <laughs> I'm introducing you. You're a big movie star. Give Am I in the clip? No, you're not in the clip. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I'm, were in that bit. The I bit you were in was really good. <laughs> you look good. I've gone home. <laughs> but you can't, you're gonna, if I introduce you, will you come out? Maybe. <laughs> right, because I don't want it to be like the clip. <laughs> That's what I said to them when I arrived. <laughs> You're on your own There's for a another, minute now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Tell, them, tell them about your movie. There's some other clips. Here's a, uh, let me describe one to you. What? There's a clip where I walk around and I show my dog things and he nods. <laughs> That's a great That's clip. That's a good that, clip. That clip would have been fantastic. This is a clip I'm not in. Are you in this film? Disappointed. That's me in the middle. All oh, right, wait, wait, wait. In the wait. middle. With the stripey on? Uh huh. Oh, that's nice. You're good in stripes. I'm on the cover twice. Hey, wait a minute. You're there, and you're there. Yeah. <laughs> you Front must have on. a really good agent. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> that was in my deal. Front on and profile, you see. Yeah. That's and that's, nice. that's important, apparently. Yeah. Christopher Plummer, you'll notice, is only on the... Yeah, he's only once. on it once. Yeah. <laughs> I loser. I know. Yeah. But maybe, actually, I'm the loser. Maybe he went... Oh, if everyone else is going to be on it twice, I want to only be on it once. Yeah, that's one of those games. That's that why he's play. Christopher Plummer. Yeah. <laughs> who's the uh, Who's this lovely girl here? Melanie Long. Is she from? <laughs> she's from. <laughs> she's not from. <laughs> she's from Paris. Oh, oh is is I went to Paris. Recently. I know. I can see over there. Oh yeah, it? I got that. Well, where did I get that? I can't remember. But is uh, it anyway? Um, you know, wouldn't the Eiffel Tower be better black? if it was painted yeah. like that? Much. <laughs> <laughs> the French would have something to say yeah. about that. <laughs> When I, when I suggested it to them, they were like, uh-huh. No. Why are you stupid? What are you oh. saying? I'm not even hearing what I'm saying. Do I understand? That's what you they say. You go to say. Paris a lot then, do you? My wife you got your scarf, for example? No. It's nice, though. I stole this scarf from a little uh, commercial I did once. You did a commercial? Yeah. For what? For perfume. Perfume? <laughs> I've seen that. That's up in my wall as part of my... I've said too much. Uh, that is the scarf. That's the scarf. No, but my wife's from Paris. And oh, so yeah, we she's do French. That will happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mais oui, mais oui. Do you speak French? Oui. To your wife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes. And, uh, yeah. and does, does she laugh at your efforts? My kids laugh at my French more than my wife. Do your kids speak French? My wife sort of puts up with it, and my kids just laugh in my face. <laughs> Well, they, but I have kids, and they laugh in my face, and I don't even try and speak French. They just laugh in my face. <laughs> and one of them's only ten months old. He's like... <laughs> he does, actually, he's doing that now, pointing. That's his thing. Oh, yeah. It's ten months. Ten months, point. I'm a nine-month-old girl. Oh, is she pointing yet? She points, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, she's like, over the, when she wants to go places. <laughs> and you have to take her over there. Well, my son, who's ten months old, points at books and says, Read that. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute, if you've got a 10 month old and I've got a 9 month old, we should set them up a sort of play date. Right. They don't really care about each other Not at that really. age, though. No, yeah. Just interesting. Like, did you food. poo? Yeah, did you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's, like, it's like hanging out with Germans. Have you thrown yeah. up all down yourself? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, what's going on then? You're in this film, uh, apparently, although we have no docu documentary no, no. proof that that's I am so. In it. I am in it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, it's a very lovely film, Beginners. Mike Mills directed it, and it's his, it's his story. Uh, well, at least the father-son story is his story. And, What's the um, story? The story is... Uh, he, the father goes into a supermarket and gets frozen with a chicken? Is that the story? <laughs> no. Oh, all right. That's, that's um, Chicken Mar Margaret. That's the chicken big movie Mar coming yeah. out next yeah. year. <laughs> yeah, that's more of a summer blockbuster. Yeah, it's a summer title. blockbuster, yeah. Chicken, chicken Margaret, Margaret starring uh, Brad Pitt as Chicken Margaret. The giblets, when you say <laughs> Poor old chicken. Where is she? What's her name? Chicken Margaret. Chicken Margaret. Yeah, she, she lives in Glasgow. She's is still, she still around. still knocking around? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chickens are not yet safe. <laughs> yeah, no. Right, so... Uh, right, so it's a lovely story. Joy, have you been riding around on your motorcycle? What about yep, that? a lot. A, really? a lot round about here. Not any big long trips recently. I can't but... ride around in LA. It freaks me out. I know, I can't do terrible it. drivers oh, here. My man. eldest daughter's learning to drive, and you... And you when, you when you're in the passenger seat with your 15 and a half year old... Where we come from, that's... Not allowed, you know, yeah, they have to be allowed, like 17 yeah. before you can drive, right? Well, I think actually, really, you should, technically, you should be in your 40s. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am now, and when I'm sitting Are next to her... Are you 40 now? Yeah. My and God, I must be ancient! <laughs> I always think of you as the kid! Well, I always used to think of myself as a kid too, but... You're, you're 40? Yeah. Uh, moped, I'm retiring. That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's time to call it a day. What the hell? But when you're, when you're sitting there with your kid driving, you notice that, you know, really... The driving here is shocking. It's very, very bad. I know yeah. it's. A, I, I stopped riding my bike in LA. I had yeah. my. I had my bike sent right. off. Oh, wait, I won't do that. I'll, I'll always ride my bike because I. I won't let them. Do you ride an American bike? Uh, you I've, don't, do you? No, 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 no. I do have an American bike, but I mainly ride other bikes. Really? An Italian one? I uh, got a few old goozies, Yeah, more yeah. You like tutti fruits? Italian between your legs. <laughs> <laughs> With a it's my job, man. Chance. I don't mean anything yeah. by it. You understand. Yeah, I, know, I, I, I just got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But you do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do is to ride my old bikes. That's did you I get Ev on the bike yet? Is she riding She rode when the second, uh, the long way down trip we did through Africa, she rode on Really? That. She rode through Malawi and Zambia with us. Learned to ride, had never ridden before. And, she... and then goes to Malawi and Zambia? Yeah, 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 yeah. What are the roads like there? Pretty hairy, yeah. Hairy roads? Hairy roads. <laughs> well, you got to have special tires for that. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> They're like big combs. <laughs> <laughs> 
You've contest. taken a lot of drugs, haven't yeah, you, man? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I like that. Did you see me in the dressing room, did you, before I came? Well, you took a lot of drugs yeah, tonight? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that you have such a... What's wrong? Why have you got haggis in the... I've box? got haggis in, in my TARDIS. But why have you got... <laughs> it's, you know, so that it can travel through time and space. <laughs> Should haggis be needed on other planets at other times? Can I have a look at it? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's a McSween's vegetarian. Is this? Yeah. Why have you we got know about haggis. We're Scotland. Is haggis is a vegetarian haggis? haggis? Well, I... You know, I... I... How old is that? Um... <laughs> Crikey. I think he's actually... I think, I think it's 40. I always thought you was the kid! Well, where are you going, man? I've got haggis juice in my hands. Yeah. That's kangaroo testicles, leave them. I don't come to your house and play with your testicles. <laughs> you did the last time. Yeah. <laughs> Not since you met that French bitch, anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, stick your McSween's back in its box. There right, we are. and then I'll put there the haggis back in here. Do you enjoy Doctor Who? I don't watch Doctor Who at all, no. How long have you been in Al Qaeda? <laughs> <laughs> do, do, you, do you watch it? Yeah, I do. I, I do. I, you in, yeah. I, I don't watch it. Yeah, why not? I've got no interest in it. <laughs> I see. <laughs> You'd be a good Doctor Who. You should watch it. You're good. They, you know what they like? They like, uh, you know, attractive scarves. personalities. Scarves. Sc and scarves. There you are, yeah. <laughs> Pe people uh, enjoy your acting and you could travel through time and space. You could have a haggis as your companion. I get It'd be awesome. <laughs> no? You done with the science fiction, pal? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I did the Star Wars. Don't want to do Doctor Who. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Might be a little... Uh... Step in the wrong step direction. Step in the wrong direction. Yeah, I, hear I, I didn't want to say that. No, well, it's I right. just did say it, but anyway. Well, you said it, no. Yeah. Look forward to mad Doctor Who fans <laughs> giving you a list. Hate mail. Yeah. Look, the good thing is, though, that many Doctor Who fans are not mad. That's the opposite of what's true. Right. <laughs> Same with the Star Wars fans. Star Wars fans, too. They, give, they still give you a lot of trouble. Straightforward people. I never get bothered by Star Wars fans other than that. Um, uh, premieres and stuff, uh, red carpets, but they tend not to be Star Wars fans, just the people like to sell Star Wars memorabilia online, you know, so you end up... Oh, you sign it and then, and then they, they sell yeah. it. Yeah, they, they get me know. to do that too. Yeah, people throw, people have, people like push their kids in front and get them to do it for you. You sign their kids? And you, no, no, I don't sign kids. I don't think I've signed anyone's kids. I, I, mean, better, better. I better check. Might, yeah, you might have. I might better get my We have to take a check. commercial break. Any ideas how we should get to it? We should ask her what to... Is it he, Jeff, or is she? <laughs> I haven't dared look, but the hair's nice. <laughs> She's got a set of nail clippers up her... Ay, caramba! Oh. <laughs> what the hell? He, look, look, come on. He, he's up. He's a kid. He doesn't understand. <laughs> There's nothing up there needs clipping, in my experience. <laughs> Jeff, get us to the commercial break. Uh, yeah, this next commercial is going to get us out of the recession. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm here uh, with a newcomer to the American screen, a young kid from uh, Scotland. His name's Ewan McGregor. You and I. Hello. <laughs> uh, that's how you used to talk. That's how I used to when I was very young. Yeah. Hello. Do you remember we met because we had the same bank managers? Remember John? Oh, I do Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you ever talk to him? No. I don't know if he's still with no, us. No, he got done for embezzlement or something. You really? Yeah. Mostly uh, you're... They yeah, he stole, he stole all my money. Money, money. Over $20. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, down at the Clyde's Day. Yeah, and, that, and then we went, all went to that place and got drunk. Right. It was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, it was ah, a long time ago, yeah. Happy days. Yes. <laughs> then I went to rehab. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't far behind you. No, I know. No. I remember they said, there's a kid coming in. I said, the bed's warm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I came in. Yeah. Hello. I'm an alcoholic too. Oh, I'm bonkers for the drink too. <laughs> Why, if I see whiskey, I go uh oh, crazy. <laughs> Good time. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, no. You ever go back to Scotland much? I do. I was back there I, every summer. I go back if I can, if I'm there. Well, you I'm can. You've got some money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you I'm mean if you're working. not working? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. So I was back there. Um, 
this summer for a little bit, but I didn't get there for very long. This isn't a great story, is it? It's not. It's not it, 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 it'll, it'll fit in with all the other ones. It's well, good. It, yeah, yeah. I don't want. Good I love it. I love going to, back to Scotland, though. I, I shot you a film too. back there a couple of summers ago called Perfect Sense, and I, I it was the fourth film I've made in Glasgow, and I loved it. It's nice. More yeah. more than any time before, it seems to be kind of getting better and better. Glasgow. It does get better. Does. I was wondering if Scotland's getting better or if yeah. I'm just going madder. But no. I was. <laughs> I didn't go for my mother died about three years ago, oh, and sure. I didn't go back for a couple of years because yeah. I was very angry at Scotland, Scotland, for my mother to, to die. die. <laughs> and, and then I went back uh, this summer, and I was like, oh, it's lovely. No, it's lovely. It really is. I felt like I could live in Glasgow. I've always loved visiting Glasgow and working there, but this time I thought, God, this city's got I know it's really happening it really right now. It doesn't have anything Glasgow. you would, you know, just not missing anything. No, no. Right. Let's get out of here then. All right, see All right, you. Serious. <laughs> Which is the camera you push around? That well, one? no, that one usually actually. Yeah, and yeah. Does yeah. it take a bit of a pushing? Yeah, go on, give a give it a push. Go on. Yeah. Yeah, look, the light comes on. See if you push it, the light comes right. on. Yeah, look. That... Look how visible he is in that white jacket. If I got a white jacket, people would know I was black alive. <laughs> look at that. Is that if you can't think of anything to say? No, the whole show is if oh. you can't think of anything to say. <laughs> Hey, do you know what's cool though? Watch this. This is cool. Get, take that little dot off of okay. there. Watch this, right? And then you put it on the camera, all right? Right there, all right? And then, then look in the monitor and cover your mouth with it. Where's, where's oh, mine? Oh, mine's over here. No, where's mine? Where'd mine go? There. All right, take mine over here. Is it right? Now, and then, once you get it over, what I'm saying is, once you get it over your mouth, then you can just cuss as much as you want. They can't do anything. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Okay, let me try a few sweary words. Right, right, go ahead. Get it for you. Ready? Oh! I'm so proud. You're my great. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. That was the theme, you know, the, the there. You did great. She did good. Yeah, you did really good. Well done. Thank you very much, fat cat. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Apparently, Ewan McGregor would like a go at winning the Golden Harmonica because he feels he's able to blow an organ better than anyone else. Let's just see. Let's just see how good he is. 